This video could be an eye opener for those who are not willing to delegate work for whatever reasons. They feel they cannot risk the output quality or the deadlines or they don't want to delegate because they fear that the employees will leave and start on their own business once they learn the secrets. For such business owners, this exercise will actually tell you how much money you are losing by doing it yourself. Let's do this exercise. What is the current revenue of your business? Write it down. In this example, I assume it is 12 crores annual revenue. That is average 1 crore per month or 25 lakhs per week. In this case, I also assume that the business owner is getting all the revenue. That is, he is closing all the sales, having discussions and attending new inquiries, etc. At the same time, he is also making sure that all other functions like execution, purchase, production, quality, design, service, finance, all that etc. is being supervised. This owner works 50 hours a week. This means 20 lakh revenue from this 50 hours of efforts in a week. So his cost of time basis current revenue is weekly revenue 25 lakhs divided by weekly hours 50 that comes to 50,000 rupees per hour. 50,000 rupees per hour. Some people may argue that we should do this calculation based on profit and not on sales. Let's try that. Assuming 20% profit margin, this business earns 5 lakh profit per week from 25 lakhs revenue. In such case, the cost of time is 5 lakh divided by 50 hour is equal to 10,000 rupees per hour. Ideally, the business owner should be delegating the task which could be accomplished by an employee who costs lesser than this hourly cost. When you recruit a sales manager, you don't want him to waste his time in trivial activities like sitting in office, getting documents photocopied or organizing files in a cabinet, right? You want him to go out in the field and be with customers. You understand the cost of his time because you are paying him salary. As business owners, we don't calculate our cost of time that way. We treat ourselves as a free resource and we end up doing even the most trivial jobs. In fact, I would like you to calculate your cost of time not on the basis of current revenue, but on the basis of revenue that you want to achieve. Because if you are not available to work on these growth strategies, I'm afraid no one else in the organization will be available for that responsibility. Typically in engineering business, the owners are deeply involved in technical aspects that is design, proposals, costing, production, quality, services, etc. But miss out on other important aspects of business that is new customer acquisition, relationship building, exploring new opportunities, marketing, etc. Another exercise like this is to list down all the tasks that you did yesterday. That is a typical working day. Then write in front of each task, whether it was a task of an individual contributor or a manager or the business owner. For all of the individual contributors tasks, give yourself 100 points each. For each of the manager's tasks, give yourself 500 points. And for each of the leadership tasks, give yourself 2500 points. If this was your typical day and your score is less than 5000, it's time to change. I help business owners prioritize and focus on high impact strategies so that they can free up some time from their day to day activities and grow faster. If you would like to get your schedules audited, say time study in the comment box and we will discuss.